So what are the benefits to blockchain and supply chain? And it's kind of universal, it's across the board, but it's a little more specific to supply chain that we're talking about. It's trust, of course it's increased because you know who is there within your blockchain. It improves your system utilization. You don't have that kind of spaghetti connections and different systems and applications, getting into your invoicing, doing letters of credit, et cetera. And then it recalls specific parts of what you want to pull up from your blockchain. And I, I like to always put this slide in here because it kind of gives you a perspective of what we're talking about for numbers. And in particular, I'm going to get in and talk about the food supply chain. Think about it. 600 million, 1 in 10 get sick from eating contaminated food. 55 billion to 93 billion a year in economic loss because of poison food, food poisoning. Global traceability is roughly 14 billion to 2019. The food fraud costs are about 10 to 15 billion a year. And when you go to the grocery store, and I've been, you know, I, I shop for my family, and I go in there and I look, wait a minute, all these products are organic? How could that be? Think about it, you know? Where is that traceability and where is it coming from? This is what we're really proud of at IBM right now that's going on and currently shaping and continues to evolve. And it started with Walmart about a year ago, they wanted to do food safety traceability with China and their pork coming from overseas. They engaged us. Walmart, of all the retailers besides an Amazon, is always on the cutting edge of technology. So what happened is recently, as of like three months ago, these other huge companies decided, hey, this is, this is a mutual beneficial thing. We've got to get involved with Walmart. So Dole's involved. Nestle. Kroger, Unilever, all to really look at food safety. And that's what I mean by how blockchain can help feed the world because there's a lot of waste, tremendous amount of waste. The food goes bad, it doesn't get to the location it needs to, people are hungry. I've read that we do have the capability to feed everybody on this planet. The issue is the waste. That's the biggest part. So when you have all these different participants from the farmer to the processor, distributor, retailer involved, a lot of things can happen to the food. It can be compromised. It can be tainted food. It can spoil. So the, the story I want to share with you is spinach. In 2006, packaged spinach impacted 26 states. It was contained with E. coli. Three people died. It took three weeks to figure out Okay, where's the source? What happened here? So Walmart, along with other retailers, had to go back in, find out where these packages came from. The expense, time, and money was significant. Think about that. If we could somehow get to that package, that, that situation faster, we could save lives. Globally, 420,000 people died from food poisoning. Think about that. 420,000 people died globally from food poisoning. Maersk is another client of ours. Maersk is a container company, shipping container company that's global. Right now we're working with them on certain products and certain you know, pilots, proof of concepts. And basically with them, what I'm showing within the slide is how the ideal situation is. This is the ideal future state they want to get to. Like the other slide I showed you, the spaghetti slide, they're still doing that. But this is really the global trade distribution part that I talked about, which is critical for blockchain. It can speed up the process of goods being shipped around the globe. It could really impact what's happening across borders. And when I say, you know, can prohibit war, Think about it, sanctions. Say we're sanctioning North Korea. Wouldn't it be great if we had blockchains established with all these different suppliers that go into North Korea or China even? Think about that. We could curtail shipments of goods going into certain countries that are bad actors. This is huge. Okay. With Maersk, they, we went in there and we did kind of assessment. We found 200 manifests between shipping 
flowers from Kenya to Amsterdam. 200 of them going to different ports, getting on a plane, being shipped there. We did a pilot for them and dropped that down to just three and sped up the shipment close to 